Excuse me. Can I help you? I'm Detective Inspector Deacon. This is WDC Rortland, PC Quinn. You stay where you are, please, sir. Sunhill Police Station. Jasmine Wright? Yeah, well, what's going on? This is a warrant to search your premises for cannabis. What cannabis? It's all right, Jasmine. I'll handle this. Are you Stephen Burrows? Well? Where's your mate now? <coughs> hey, hang on. Is that a joint? OK. Body search upstairs in the flat first. I don't want to be searched. It's an invasion of my space. Don't worry. You should keep the gloves on. You're wasting your time on me dopes for dropouts. Light Noel here. Guilt? Sorry, Jess. No. Do you want to tell us where the main stash is before we start opening everything up and making a mess? This is total harassment. I'm trying to run a business here, do you know what I mean? Who told you we had drugs here? You just came back from a shopping trip in Turkey yesterday. Oh, it's it's a fine stock, you know, dates, spices. It's just one last thing. Now, tonight is the official opening of the Canley Millennium Project, which, in case you didn't already know, is being held in the park from 7.30 on. Right, Mr Brownlow, the local council and a lot of families are going to be there to see the new park amenities. Now, it's going to be very busy. We're not anticipating any trouble, but keep your eyes open. All right, parade dismissed. Uh, Reg, I'd like a word with you, please. I thought you were supposed to be in court. Oh, yeah, it was put back. Right, right. well, now you're here. Oh, by the way, um, any news on the DI's drugs raid? Right? Uh, well, you know it's my snap. Yeah, I know, Reg, they're still not back. Oh, that's disgusting, what is it? Oh, that's a fatida. Yeah? What was it when it was alive? Anything? A load of old lentils, Grove. There's nothing out there, either. Could have shifted the grass already. Not according to Reggie's snout. Dave said the snout's a bit of an old acid casualty. Ah, oh, nice gesture. Councillor Williams thought they'd brighten up the public areas a bit. Oh, I'm sure they'll make all the difference, sir. We're meeting the council chairman at the park. Seven. Don't forget. Great project, huh? Spare me your views, Reg. What are you doing, Black? No, I witnessed it, didn't you? Had that info pan out? Didn't. Total LOB, I told you. What, nothing at all? Yeah, a lot of holier than now hippie here, Ben, in a poxy possession. You're kidding. No to talk. No, unfortunately not. It came from Noel, though. I was with him in the shop last night. Partaking. Oh, well, probably explains it. No way, Reg. Word of honour. I was not off me face. Noel was fairly out of it. I sensed that when Steve started to squirm his way into Jasmine's business, that he'd got a hidden agenda. I'm not often wrong. Jazz will take anybody at face value. She's a victim of her own integrity, Reg. That's why I passed on the information about Steve in the first place. Hi, Sammy. Hello, Angel. This is a good friend of mine, Jasmine. She runs the health food shop on <gasps> Camber Road. I love you. <laughs> this is Reg, an old gardening mate of mine. Hi. <laughs> He's working up at the park for the opening. Mind me tomato plant? Soft hands for a gardener. Oh, thanks. <sighs> Tea? Oh, no, thanks, Sammy. Uh, how's things? Stressed. Oh. We were raided by the police this morning. Looking for drugs Steve had supposedly smuggled in. He's my partner. Shame. We're not into all that, then? We suppose a bit of grass, like everyone else. Clever man, Steve. Started this fair trade for all business. Work in the system for those who deserve to profit by it. Oh. All right. Anyway, I just came to tell you, you won't be able to store the new fencing in my shed, Sam. Well, Steve's filled it up. Oh. OK. What's he got in there? Just some overspill from the shop. He brought it up last night. Hey, got to move. Mm. OK, sweetheart. See ya. Go boldly. Oh, nice to meet you, Red. Ciao. Lovely girl. I told you. Yeah, you never told me that in allotment, though. It's Jasmine's. I never thought. Oh, Steve hardly comes down here. Mm. Except for last night. OK, 
careful, mate. The smell off that much weed will go straight to your head. Mm. Well, yeah. I know that. Okay. What are those? Don't know. Let's have a look. Can you smoke them? Shouldn't think so. They're bulbs. Bulbs? As in flowers. Well, why bother hiding those? Not exactly class A illegal substances, are they? You could be wrong there, mate. Up, sir. Later. Sir. Not rich. What have you got there? A uh, flower bulb, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, contraband wild stock from Turkey. Really? Mm. Andrew! Yes, sir? You know about this. How do you, um, know they're from the wild? Oh, uh, well, it's the uh, scars and wrinkles. That gives them away. Yes, uh, legally propagated varieties are generally, well, much smoother. And they're a protected species, aren't they? Oh, I'm fairly definite, yeah. Uh, also, I have reason to believe that a local Whole Foods shop is uh, well, smuggling them in in bulk. Well, excellent work, Rich. Carry on. It's a crime that's not taken seriously enough. You might try contacting the CITES enforcement team at Gatwick Airport. They might like to get involved. Oh, well, I might need extra bodies. Well, then a good cause. Right. Yeah, this plant specialist from Customs is a she, apparently. I hate tree huggers anyway. No, I'm off board minding. Uh oh, it's a flower pot, then. Which one's Bill? <laughs> Which one's Ben? Miss Jones? Oh, where's Jones? Oh, Josephine. Call me Joe. Hi. Uh, Tom Proctor. Very nice to meet you. Uh. Dave Quinnan. We're working closely with Reg on the bulbs. Ah. <laughs> this is a taped interview with Noel John Butterworth. And the officers present are PCs Reg Hollis and Customs and Excise Officer Jarman. Right, Noel. You've already been interviewed by CID in respect to some cannabis found in your possession. Now we'd like to ask you some questions in respect to a separate inquiry being carried out by Customs Officer Jarman. How long have you known Steve Burrows? Yeah, 18 months. You are in business together? Just Jazz's business now. What's left of it? Her ex ran it. He walked out with all the money. Steve's her new partner. I'm a friend. But you work together, you live together. Look, whatever it is he's up to, me and Jazz, we're totally in the dark about it. That's the honest truth. What do you think he's up to? I thought it was grass. But then you lot didn't find anything. Did you discuss this with Jasmine? No. She thinks a lot of Steve. Believes all the stuff he spouts. Anyway, she's got enough to worry about. Steve's been buying flower bulbs in bulk as well as foodstuffs, hasn't he, Noel? Yeah. Do you know where Steve lived before he came to Sun Hill? It's Holland somewhere. Can you describe him for me? Six foot, long blonde hair, ponytail. For the tape, I'm showing Mr. Butterworth a photograph of an IC1 male. Yeah, that's him, Steve Burrows. Stefan Bergson, a.k.a. numerous other false identities. We didn't know about the Burroughs alias. No, ah, used to import heroin, but uh, no record in the UK. He's extremely active, smart, confident. So why is he bothering with flowers if he's that good? He cleared about half a million profit last year. This consignment alone could net him 20 grand. We lost sight six months ago. Then Dutch surveillance spotted him again last week, so we knew he was back in business. And he's got this going without the other's knowledge. Exactly. He prefers single big customers, garden centres, hotels. That way he can get rid of each consignment in one quick transaction. It might be an idea to have someone undercover at the shop. You know, so that we know what's happening and when. What, like you, you mean, Rich? No, uh, I've met Jasmine, actually, and uh, I think she liked me. We've got the bulbs, Reg. I don't think we need to take the risk. Sorry, I can't stop any longer. Yeah, it's not all that fascinating, is it, after a while? Oh, it is. It's just I've got things to do. Oh, 
Hold on a second. Come on. I've seen him. Councillor Williams, Managing Director, PSW Garden Contractors. All right, Sammy, you stay here. I'm going to take a closer look. Well, you're in charge. You're in. You stay in, Phil. Unless you want a lot of trouble. I got 40 kilos. You ordered that I need to unload tonight. Listen, I told you last time. If the quality didn't improve, I wouldn't be interested. I can't afford. What are you doing? Crazy, get off! Are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me? We made a deal. On site, at the park, 8 o'clock, cash and deliver. That's all right! Philip Williams, sir. Reg tells me he's the main landscape contractor for the whole Millennium Project. I am aware of that. It's a tragedy, sir. Acres of Turkish countryside dug up to supply candy with year-round colour. Reg, I get the picture. Are we absolutely certain that he was aware that these bulbs were illegally imported? Well, ignorance is no defence under the Act. It was his responsibility to clarify the origins of the material. We really need to catch Burroughs hands-on when the delivery happens, sir, which means setting up immediately for an op at the park. You've made impressive progress, but I'm afraid a raid is out of the question. Phil Williams is a... he's a well-known and well-liked councillor. Also, the park is due to open this afternoon. His company has provided the facilities with a great deal of public money. Mr. Munro and I are due there later on for a walkabout. We'll lose him if we hold off, sir. I'm sorry. There'll be the press there, families, local councillors. It's a political minefield. Now, do you have any other options? Well, it's Mr. Williams. I mean, he might be prepared to cooperate with us to set Burroughs up in some other way. If he knew what the situation was. Well, that would suit me much better. OK. I'll leave you to work out a strategy. I've got quite as far as a strategy, sir. My pleasure, Charles. You uh, had an accident? Oh, <laughs> just the wife getting carried away with her martial arts. This way. Sure. What's this? Blind date? <laughs> Philip Williams, you're under arrest for being knowingly involved in the importation of endangered species. About an hour ago, I was at the allotments on Bream Road. You met a man there called Steve Burrows, is that correct? Yes. What was the reason for the meeting? He sells me lots of plants and bulbs. I'd gone to look at some new stuff he'd got. <laughs> look, I, I knew the bulbs weren't exactly kosher, but... Ah, oh. it's victimless, isn't it? Six months ago, three Turkish children were found dead in a ravine in the mountains south of Istanbul. They'd been hired, possibly by Burroughs, because they were hungry enough to risk climbing where adults wouldn't, to collect bulbs for people like you. Oh, I don't know anything at all about that. I met Burroughs, well, 18 months ago. He offered me a regular supply of, of what I needed, at a good price, with the relevant documents. Cash on delivery. So what was the argument about? Oh, last time, half the gear was duff. Well, obviously, the, this Millennium job for the Burroughs is very important to me. Burroughs complained he'd been let down, but... Well, I reckoned he was just jacking up his profit by passing on cheap rubbish. And today, he showed with a new batch. Wasn't any better. Are you aware that smuggling offences carry a seven-year prison sentence? Oh, look, I'll do whatever you want. Well, I'm a, I'm a businessman, I'm not a criminal. All I want to do is stay out of prison. Whether you go to prison or not is now a decision to make, Mr Williams. In certain circumstances, we would be prepared to protect you. This isn't a deal we're offering you. It's advice. A recommended course of action. Like what? Cooperating with us to catch Burroughs. 
recommend away then. Hello, Jasmine. Oh, hi. Steve, about only uh, I'm supposed to be meeting you. Do you work for Mr. Williams? Uh, yeah, that's right. Wow. Hmm. What a weird coincidence meeting you earlier. Yeah, well, life's full of those, isn't it? No, back here. I uh, know. This is Reg from Mr. Williams. All right, Reg. You want to come with me? Uh, excuse me. Change your plan, I hear. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, Mr. Williams, you know, we thought it'd be better, what with everything going on up in the park and that. Hmm. Cool. So you got some money for me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And how long you work for Phil? Ooh, uh, be about a year. That went on. Haven't seen you at the park? No, well. That's probably because I'm about the only one with his head down doing any work. Fair enough. No, I was working out at Essex, but, uh, well, Mr Williams brought me in, you know, to finish the work up at the pub. How's it going at the pub, then? Oh, not bad. Hard to get a decent tilt on that clay, yeah? Yeah. Well, of course, it's not so bad now we've got the top sort of down. OK. So you go here at 7.30 tonight, on the nose. We go together, collect the bulbs. I'll get the rest of the cash then, yeah? Sure. Be here on time. Oh, yeah. I'll make certain of it. Well, I've got some things to sort out with the little woman. You know? Hey. Sell the deal. Best weight. No impurities. You all right? You seem a bit peaky. Oh, no, fine. Well, how was he? Oh, well, just uh, relaxed, yeah. And, well, I'll give him the cash, obviously. And, um, I've got to go back at 7.30, collect the bulbs, that's pay. Great. Right, I think it's pretty simple what we that's need. That's disgusting. Two vehicles off to the allotment first. One positioned here and here. A third vehicle, Joe, you go with Reg. I've arranged for Williams to drive one of his work vans over for you. Oh, thanks. You go into the shop, come out with Burroughs, off to collect the bulbs, followed by Joe. As soon as they get to the allotment, Burroughs takes Reg into the shed, we make the arrest. Problem with that, anyone? No, no. Hold on, Joe. Yeah. Just fancy a drink later. And then it's a nice little place up in town. You know, the male sperm count has dropped by 25% in as many years. You're eating too much processed food. Oh, hi. Back again. Yeah. Is, uh, Steve about? Oh, uh, no. There's been a change of plan. Oh? Huh? Yeah, Steve's already taken the stuff, and, uh, I'm supposed to phone him on this, so he can tell you where to meet him as soon as I'm sure everything's all right. Oh. Mr. Williams didn't tell me anything about your involvement with Steve's side of the business. Well, Mr. Williams probably thinks I'm a dozy hippie chick, like most people. No, what I mean is, you know, when I first met you, I, I, well, I thought you had principles. Oh, principles are a luxury I can't afford these days. Oh, yeah. Is that what Steve said? <clears throat> Look, uh, have you got the money? Oh, yeah. Uh, same with the road. It was strange, though, me seeing you earlier with Sam. Hmm? Oh, Sammy, yeah. Well, uh, Sam and I are old mates. You're a gardener, though, aren't you, Reg? Who are you? Uh, Jasmine, I'm a police officer I'm working on the camera. was really into to begin with. I was in love again, you know. I was in love. Business was picking up. 
I didn't ask questions. Eventually, I, I did work it out there. Yeah, but you didn't stop it, though. No. I just adapted. Accepted. Wasn't harming anyone. Look. Uh, this business that you're involved with, Miss Dean, it's not just about digging up a few bulbs. People have died as a result of it. I don't want to lose him. Yeah. Look, it's too late for Steam, all right? Because we know everything. But it's not too late for you to do something for yourself, eh? The right thing, eh? Yeah? Mm. This is Jasmine Wright. This is Customs Officer Jarman. Jasmine's decided that she'd like to help us, isn't she? Good for her. You ready? It's just a few minutes late, that's all. But well, the money's fine. No sign of anything. Okay, I'll tell him. Me? Okay. Where are we going, Jasmine? Pay and display car park, Ashen Road. Ten minutes. And he wants me to drive you. I said not to be late. Yeah, sorry, trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mum. <coughs> Why am I here? Fancy the goodbye kiss. We'll load the gear then, hurry up. Okay, okay. My beautiful. I've been in touch. Bye, Rich. Steve? What? Hang about. Hello, Stefan. What are you doing here? Making sure you go away for it this time. What's it, what is it? Rich? You've made my day. Yeah, well done, mate. Oh, good effort, Reg. Good effort. Gentlemen, um, do you fancy a drink and some food later? I'm wine after a hard day. Thanks, but I've got other plans, Dave. You're disappointed. Yeah, I thought she'd, you know. Oh, I've seen the error of her ways. Mm. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you free for dinner tonight? 